What's up guys, it's Mitch Savage here and I'm back with another Fallout 76 video. Today I wanted to make a video on hacking for new players. If this video helps you out, please like and subscribe and I hope you enjoy. The release of Fallout 76 is right around the corner. A lot of people have already tried a Fallout game and there isn't much of a difference with Fallout 76. Fallout 76 feels like Fallout 4 online, but with Fallout 76's lack of human NPCs, we rely on scenery, robots, terminals, audio logs, and notes to provide us with lore. A lot of which can be found locked away behind a door, or there could be lore locked behind a password protected terminal, and without the knowledge of hacking you can miss out of a lot of things in this game. Anything from lore to loot. So today I wanted to make a short little guide on hacking in Fallout. This video is great for new players to this series, or maybe long time players that have always avoided hacking due to it being a little bit overwhelming at first. If you are already familiar with hacking, maybe you could check out any of my other Fallout 76 videos. I upload content like this all the time, go check that out. So to start off, you should know that you have 4 attempts to hack a terminal before you are locked out of it for 10 seconds. When you return, a new password is selected. You can keep trying until you guess the password correctly, but to save time and effort, I'll go over how to properly hack in Fallout. To hack in Fallout 76, you will need the hacking perk card, which can be found in perk card packs when you level up. When you start Fallout 76, you already know the lowest level of hacking. There's four levels of hacking, and they are level 0, level 1, level 2, and level 3, so you start with level 0. Higher level hacks will require higher ranked hacking perk cards. To level up your perk card, you just need two of the same hacking card, and then you can combine them to get to a level 2 hacking card. Now once you have found a terminal you want to hack, you must approach it and activate it to start. The screen will then light up with random words surrounded by random symbols. Somewhere in this mashup of words and symbols is your password. When I start hacking, I look at the words and I look for similarities to help narrow it down. Like words ending in ing. Then I select a word and check its likeness. Likeness is at the bottom right corner. The likeness number indicates the number of letters in your guest word that exactly match the terminal password in both letter and position, helping you narrow down the structure of the correct word. For example, if the password is hacking and you guessed running, your likeness would equal 3 due to the ing being in both words in the exact same place. If you're coming close to the end of your 4 attempts, you can also scan the codes for highlighted groups of symbols like this. These can either give you 4 more attempts or remove incorrect words from the list. Hacking in Fallout 76 is not very hard but it is intimidating to new players with little experience with the hacking system in this game. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I will try to reply to them as soon as I can, and I hope this video helped some of you. If it did, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. I post videos like this every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Come on, come on, come on, come on.